<laughs> Let's cook. Come on. <laughs> we got stuff on the ground. That's because it's easy for me to grab it. it. Yeah, because I have to clean the counter. <laughs> right, Today's episode of Self Food Kitchen, we are doing Kim Chi again. Kim Chi again. This time we're doing radish kimchi. Bora, can you tell us about radish kimchi? Radish kimchi, gakjugi, is probably the second most popular kimchi right after cabbage kimchi. It's made almost the same way as cabbage kimchi, except that it's actually easier than that. So radish kimchi is an excellent pair with Korean soups like akbo soup, kim rib soup, or chicken soup. Then, let's check out how to make it. Back to tray. Okay, kimchi, let's talk about it for a minute. Out of the world of kimchi, from all the different oyster kimchis, from the green onion kimchi, from the, what is that other one called, kimchi. My favorite kimchi would be the daikon. I don't know why, I think it's because it's easier to eat. Um, it's, not, it's not as harsh or whatever. So let's get start making just Radish kimchi. So let's go over the ingredients that you need for radish kimchi. You're gonna need green onion, you're gonna need uh, Korean chives, you're gonna need, obviously, daikon radish, preferably the more bigger type right here. You're gonna need Korean pear, you're gonna need garlic, it's about eight cloves, you're gonna be need about half a cup of fish sauce, two tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use regular sugar if you want to or some type of sugar substitute if, if you would like. And one cup uh, red pepper flakes. This is a little bit more, more than I normally use because more or less spice, but you could uh, use about three quarters of a cup, but I use a cup for this recipe. And let's, so let's get to start making our kimchi. Can I do a pose? All right, we're gonna start off, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna skin this like the predator. Boom, all skin, looking pretty. So we're gonna cut the ends off just to get the parts that we don't want off it. Set off to the side, and we're gonna cut this bad boy up into, like I said, like half inch cubes. So over here, right here. Right here. I'm sorry, one inch cubes. <laughs> Looks like a half inch of me, whatever. Ugh. Boom, cubes. Set it off to the side. All right, we got it off. We're gonna just cut it off in little cubes. Really easy. Shark boat bowl, that's just large. Throw it inside there and continue cutting the rest. All right, we have our daikon cubed ready in our large bowl. From there, we're gonna add our brown sugar, boob. Then we're gonna add our salt, boom. And what we're gonna do with that, we're gonna mix it all together. Like so, keep going until it coats everything. Keep coating, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Scrooge McDuck and his riches and his money bin. That was a DuckTales reference if anybody of you are our 90s baby and early 80s baby, you would know what I'm talking about, and it's amazing. All right, so from here, it's all coated. We're gonna leave it off to the side. We're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. We want a, a pull to develop in the bottom of it, and so for our brine, because all the stuff is gonna start to sweat. And then we're gonna, now we're gonna prep the rest of our other ingredients for, to get this one big kimchi dish going on. 
later. All right, we are back. 30 minutes later, you see the pool of the juice down here. Delicious. So, salt, sugar, juices, leave it in here. Set up to the side and we're gonna combine all the other ingredients together to finish up our kimchi. So we're gonna take our pear, already diced it up, so just dice it up, put it in your blender. You're also gonna put in your garlic too. Put it all up there. Make sure you know how to work this thing right. Hit power. Ah. Oh, done, done, done. Pull it off. Take it. You know to pour it all over. Put it off the side. Take all this stuff. You're going to take your fish sauce. You're going to pour it inside. And you're going to take your red pepper flakes. And you're also going to put that off. That's all in there. Just set it up to the side. Then we're gonna prep your green ingredients to put inside your kimchi. Awesome, you have your chives. Just a rough cut, like we did during my kimchi video. Same thing, about, about an inch. Pieces of uh, chives. Take it, dump inside. You're gonna take your green onions, you're gonna do the same thing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, now that we have our gloves on, next part we're gonna have our kimchi jar. We're gonna have all our stuff in here, so it's all in this bowl. See it all nice and pooly looking inside. So we're gonna take it, gloves on, mix it all together. Mix, mix, mix. Boom. We're gonna take it, and we're gonna put it inside our jar, and we're gonna leave it out on the counter overnight. So just drop it inside. Ugh. Get over here. Oh shit, let me, oh. <laughs> Try not to make a mess, <laughs> like me. Keep going, keep going. And I ran out of space. We have all our radish and our kimchi in the jar. We're gonna take this kimchi, we're going to, boom, leave it on the counter, and overnight for 24 hours, and I'll see you in 24 hours. Kimchi, kimchi, kimchi. 24 hours later. It's been 24 hours, and you can see our kimchi is ready. When you, we first put it inside this uh, mason jar, the water, or the juices was here, and as you can see, it, ri it rose. It, that kimchi rose like the Red Sea. And it's almost to the top. And if you actually come close to it and listen to it really, really close, you can hear it bubble when that gaseous stuff wants to come out. Let's open it up and let's try it out. Kimchi. I'm actually surprised it actually made it this long without Bora trying to get into it. Let's try it. And for the, I'm not the guy who likes to try his food on camera, but I'm gonna do it this time around. Fuck, that shit's good. Well, I hope you like my kimchi radish kimchi recipe. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that mash button. Thank you. And see you in the next episode of Soul Food Kitchen. Oh, that's really good. Aside from my soul.